How you doing everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on this Sonar Jojo Mayer Perfect Balance Signature Kick Drum Pedal. Jojo Mayer is one of the world's great drummers we have today. If you don't know who he is, please Google his name, look him up on YouTube, there's a ton of great content there of him playing his drums. He's also one of the world's great educators. He's got some great DVDs out there on hand technique, foot technique. Every drummer should own those DVDs and books. They're fantastic. Now Jojo, along with the engineers at Sonar, came up with this fantastic pedal. The story goes, I think I have it right here, over the past 20 years or even more now, Jojo collected every pedal on the market just about, just to find the pedal that fit his foot and his playing style. None of them really spoke to him. I mean, he could play anything but the pedal still wasn't exactly what he was looking for. And a lot of the pedals that he used were old vintage pedals from the 40s and 50s and 60s. So that's kind of where his feeling started, you know, the base that he was building from. Then around, you know, in the 70s, foot pedals, kick drum pedals started to change because rock and roll was in, heavy metal was coming. Drummers wanted to play harder with more power. A lot of the finesse of the pedal sort of went away a little bit. So in all of that time collecting pedals, Jojo started to sort of Frankenstein pedals together. He would use a sprocket or a cam from one pedal, a footboard from another, put these things together, and over time, he got a blueprint together of the perfect pedal for him. He took it to the engineers at Sonar, and they came up with this perfect balance pedal. There's a lot of great things going on with this pedal. It's one of the smoothest pedals I've ever played, so let's get in all the details right now. The first thing I want to show you about this pedal is how low mass it is. You know, typical pedals usually have a dual post, a post on this side of the pedal as well. This has just the post on the left side, and it just makes it lightweight, very easy. Also, one of the coolest things about this pedal is that the cam, the part that the strap is on, and the beater assembly are one piece, okay? They call that their linear drive system. It's just really smooth as silk. It goes through the post right here on the top and connects to the spring here on the left side of the pedal. If you need to make adjustments on this pedal, it is super simple to do. The spring is connected right over here. You just pull it on, put it right back on. Super simple like that. If you want to adjust the beater angle, you take your key, there's a little hex nut right here. You would loosen it, and wherever you put it in this system right here will make the beater go closer to the head or farther back. The pedal comes with a long board. The hinge in the back is super smooth, and what the long board does is means you can play with whatever technique you want. If you're a heel up player, like I do most of the time, it's very simple. Put your heel right here on the round part and you're good to go. If you are a heel down, more jazz kind of player, you play smooth, that kind of thing, you can easily do it with the longboard or you can go back and forth in between. No matter your what your style is, you can easily do it on this board. Another cool feature what I find is, if you notice, the strap is at a little bit of an angle when where it connects to the board. That gives you really nice throw to the, the kick drum head with the pedal. So you can get nice, powerful shots, but then when you want to go play soft and get some nice, you know, play with dexterity and finesse, you can easily do that with this pedal as well. The strap on this pedal is ballistic fiber. What's cool about this is that it's almost as strong as a chain. It's not gonna break at all. In the past, the straps were made of typical fiber material, but this ballistic fiber here uh, is just super strong. You can take it off of the cam if you need to right here with that same hex key. Another cool feature I find with this pedal is the old school felt beater, round felt beater. This is very typical of vintage pedals from, you know, back in the 60s and early on from there. Now of all the really cool features this pedal has to offer, this next one might be the very best of all. It's how it breaks down and how it connects to your kick drum hoop. It's really easy. First thing you do is take the spring off, like I showed you earlier, and to the right of the post here is a button, right there in the bottom. Just press the button in, the post goes towards the bottom of the pedal, like that. The beater comes back, and it's all folded up just like that. Super small and super convenient. When it's time at the gig or your session to put the pedal onto your kick drum hoop, it's super simple to do. Pull it forward a little bit like this. Pull the beater back so you can connect the spring. Don't lock it all the way into place yet, because what this is doing is it's keeping the clamp open a little bit. Then when you put it onto the kick drum hoop, push it all the way forward, now your kick drum is locked and in place and ready to go. If you do need to tighten it onto your kick drum hoop a little bit more to get the, the exact you know, snug fit, there is an adjustment right here. There's a lug screw. Put your key on there and you can tighten it down and or loosen it and that will set 
your clamp in just the right, you know, position. So next time you have it like this, it'll lock in place perfectly. Last thing we're going to talk about today is the box that comes in when you buy the pedal. It's really cool. I think it's worth mentioning. It's a very cool looking box. Jojo Mayer's face is right there. You see a little bit of the pedal. Very sleek. Inside the box, you get a little bit of literature from Jojo Mayer himself telling the story about this pedal and how he came up with it. Directions on how to put the pedal together in a bunch of different languages. And this is really what I wanted to show you is the bag. All you drummers out there know that kick drum pedals usually come in a big bag and you know, it's easy to do, but nothing like this. So what you do is break down your pedal, take off the spring, hit the button, fold her on up like this, unzip your bag, put her in, and you are good to go. Comes with a strap. Let's go to the gig. I mean, seriously, that's pretty cool. It's almost like a small ukulele bag, really. It's that tiny. And inside here is your kick drum pedal. Pretty unique stuff right there. There you have it, everybody. The Sonar Jojo Mayer Perfect Balance Signature Kick Drum Pedal. Designed by Jojo Mayer with the engineers at Sonar. Super smooth feeling pedal. A lot of fun to play. If you want any more information about this Sonar product or any other Sonar product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching.